Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today we've got some new products, some new stuff, some fun things to look at from the Pokemon TCG. So, with all of that board in mind, let's start off with a surprising new product that I frankly was not expecting. We've got ourselves a Decidueye EX box. Now, you may have noticed from the image I've gone and popped on the screen there that this is in French. Yeah. Now, shout out to Pokecard X, I should say, for, for showing us this. Now, as it stands at the moment, we've seen it listed in France. We've seen it listed in Germany. Is it going to make its way around the world? Probably. They generally tend to. But it's not 100% guaranteed. It could be that it doesn't get round there. So, as always, just, you know, to take off a pinch of salt, right? It's been listed over on Smith's Toys in France. We've seen it listed in Germany. We have reason to believe that it is going to potentially be coming out in other places because these things generally tend to. This is not a hard and fast rule, a guarantee, or anything along those lines. You have been warned. So what do we actually get here? Well, you've got yourself Decidueye EX. You've got yourself your Rowler and your Dartrix that are, of course, your pre-evolutions thereof. And a Jumbo Decidueye. What is new and exclusive and only found in this box, etc.? The Jumbo. And we're seeing this more and more lately. Where we have these EX boxes, which are not necessarily new per se, in terms of same promo and all of that. But they do come around with new jumbos. And you know what? Yeah. Because look, here's the thing about a product like this. You can look at this and go, well, it's just a new jumbo and existing cards. I don't care. And go, okay, cool. You could also look at this and go, oh, I collect jumbos. My kid likes jumbos, whatever. And all of a sudden, you've got a new jumbo card to pop into the collection, have some fun with and all of that. And you know what? I think that's kind of cool. I'm kind of a fan of this, honestly. Now, we do get two foil cards, two promo cards. But remember when they say promo cards, they are using the definition loosely here. They are essentially foil versions of existing cards. The exact foil that comes around is going to be important for determining how useful this is, how good this is, how much you're going to want this. It's cool. Jumbo is the main reason to buy it. Getting the guaranteed EX, I mean, look, it's the Sidueye EX. We know it's not a phenomenal card. If it was a phenomenal card by now, we'd all know. We'd all be playing it in our decks. It would be a staple. If we go on to TCG Player right now and have a look at the Sidueye EX price-wise, you are looking at a $1 card. It's not a great card or a valuable card or anything like that. That's not really the point here. The point is, you get a new Jumbo, guaranteed EX, couple of other foils, and some packs. And I've said many times, these EX boxes are really good presents for kids, because you get the guaranteed EX, and they love that. And you get yourself some packs to open, and you get the Jumbo. And generally speaking, I know there are always exceptions, kids tend to like the Jumbos a bit more. My kids, my nieces, have all stolen Jumbo cards off me in the past, because they're very cool. No, there's no exclusive promos or anything like that. This is what we've got. In terms of the Decidueye and actually how good it is, and again, it's been out for a while, not seen a huge amount of play. That is instructive. But what we've got here is the ability Total Freedom. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. If this Pokemon is on the bench, switch it with the active. If it's in the active, switch it with the bench. So it can always switch in and out as you like. But then 2 energy, 130, 30s, one of your opponent's bench is not a phenomenal attack. It's quite cheap, which is nice. But if I'm evolving all the way up into a stage 2, I want to do more than 130. Yeah, I'm getting single prize Pokemon, most of them. But I'm not really ever getting two prize Pokemon unless they're weaker and I'm hitting for weakness. It is frankly not ideal. But that is not the only thing which has gone and been revealed. Also on Smith's Toys over in France, we've got ourselves a new blister, which is bringing us a couple of booster packs, a coin featuring Palkia, 
And free Pokemon cards. Free foil cards. Free cards, brilliant. Or, I don't know, my French isn't that good, all right? I used to be all right when I was 16. Did GCSE French, nailed it. You know, A-star, no big deal. Nowadays, yeah, my, my, my French is not good, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. But this is a standard kind of product, which is fine. I don't think this is the kind of product which is going to send people rushing out to the shops to go and pick it up. But I also don't think it's a terrible card. You get yourself three guaranteed foils, couple of packs, and it's 13 euro over in France. So it's going to be a roughly that in dollars if it makes its way over there. There is, and I think this is important to note, there is no guarantee that this makes an appearance in the US or in the rest of Europe. A lot of these time, these tend to. But by the same token, there's been plenty of these kind of products in the past that have just popped up in one random country and never been seen again. The packaging is in French. So there is a possibility here that they just never bother translating the packaging and it just stays as a French product. The good news is you're not necessarily missing anything. I'm not calling it a terrible product. I'm just saying, I think, inessential. Let's use the word inessential. It is an inessential product. It's cool. But it's not something you need. Because all of these cards have been shown off before. The Palkia is the Palkia from Paradox Rift. It's got 2 energy, 30 damage. You may switch with a bench. Or 3 energy, 80 damage. If you're behind on prizes, 160. There's an argument here that if you're accelerating enough water energy in, say, a Batscalibur deck. That it's 3 energy, 160 on a single prize Pokemon. But... I think even that is pushing it a little bit. I don't think it's a particularly good card. Would love to be proven wrong, but I do think this Palkia might go down as a little bit disappointing. We've also got Zekrom. Yes, we are flicking between generations here. We're not keeping all the promos in the same generation. And it is the Zekrom from Paradox Rift. We got single energy, 20 damage, discard all tools from your opponent's active. Or free energy 130 plus 40 to one of your bench. Free energy 130. Lightning's not quite so good at accelerating energy. It, it tends to be, you know, we've got some. And it tends to be like one shot deal. It, it's awkward. I don't really want to put free energy onto here if it's all the same to you. Sorry about that. So, yeah. And then you've got to do 40 to one of your own Pokemon as well. And I know we got Pokemon that do damage based on the damage on them and all of that. But the free energy here is the real sticking point for me. It's frankly a bit too expensive. And then we finish off with the Latios here. Should be Latias. By far the superior Pokemon. I will not be taking comments on this matter. And the Latios here is the one that came around in Paradox Rift. You might be seeing a pattern here. And free energy, 180 to scarred free. Again, if you're accelerating enough energy in, say, a Gardevoir deck, there's an argument here as a single prize Pokemon. But even then, Gardevoir's got better options. Once again, it's a product that isn't particularly phenomenal in terms of, look at these super exclusive cards. Now, maybe they have a different foil pattern. If that's the case, my thoughts on this change quite a lot. But the reality is it's probably just these three cards. They're fine, but they're not particularly special. And then we finish off with one thing. And I had a few messages about this. So shout out to everyone that messaged me about this. I think the first person to message me was the lovely Andrew Kincaid, who is one of our supporters over on Patreon and is frankly a very lovely person. Letting us know that Smiths in the UK, yes, apparently it is a Smiths kind of video today are giving out the Arch Aladon if you spend $14.99 or more on select Pokemon trading card game products. Now, I actually showed you this promo the day. I told you it was coming out over in the US and that it had the lovely stamp on it. But you'll notice we get the better stamp. Because I did show you this Arch Aladon the other day and I actually showed you two different versions of it. But one had the GameStop stamp, which is the worst stamp we've got. Come at me in the comments. And the other one had the EB Game stamp, which is frankly not that much better. I also showed you a Raging Bolt with the Stellar Crown stamp on. And I told you just the set stamp is far superior. Well, that's what we're getting in the UK. Spend 15 quid in Smiths and you get yourself the Arch Aladon with the Stellar Crown logo. And you can see from the image here... 
that the logo itself is actually foil, which is, I mean, it, it was already a million times better than the GameStop stamp, but this is just even better again. Shout out to the lovely Andrew Kincaid for letting me know for the images and for the three or four other people that also message me about this. You guys are awesome and I'm very appreciative that you spend the time. Like genuinely, if you spent time out of your day to go and send me a message telling me about something I might have missed, that's really kind and I appreciate it very much indeed. So there we go. We got a Decidueye Xbox, which is cool. We've got ourselves another box with some promos in, which is pretty cool. And we got ourselves some new products and a new promo. So yeah, life is good. But I've told you all about this now, ladies and gentlemen. So now it's over to you guys. What of this stuff are you going to be picking up? Are you surprised that we've got a different stamp on our Arch Aladon? And are you jealous? Let me know in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Andrew Kincaid, who I've already given you one example of how lovely he is in this video. So shout out to them for the support and the continual loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.